Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is going to be about the most asked questions about working in the UK as a doctor. These are questions that have been asked a few times or had loads of likes. So let's get started. So the first question, is it compulsory to do an internship year before applying for GMC registration? If you want to obtain full GMC registration, you need to complete an internship year equivalent to the FY1, the first year of the UK Foundation Programme. If you didn't manage to do an internship year after medical school, then you might need to do the FY1 year here in the UK. If you have done an internship year in another country, it might be accepted provided it meets the GMC's criteria. I will leave a link to the full criteria down below so you can check if your internship is acceptable. But basically, it needs to involve a minimum of 12 months continuous medical practice. In that 12 months, you need to do at least three months in medicine and three months in surgery. And the post needs to be in an approved training program where you have regular educational and clinical supervision. You also can't have any breaks in between apart from annual leave, sickness or maternity or paternity leave. The next question, is there a fee for specialty training in the UK? Specialty training in the UK is conducted by Health Education England. It is not run by a university and it is not an MD or a master's. Specialty training is free for doctors. You will be working for the trust and hospital while you train. You also will receive a monthly salary based on your training grade. There are medical postgraduate MD programs run by universities. Some of these courses are specially designed for international doctors and some do not require PLAB. But there is a cost for these types of programs. Personally, I would not recommend this route if you are thinking of working and settling in the UK. Maybe these programs are recognized in other countries, but most doctors in UK do not do this or have an MD. Doctors in UK do the specialty training program run by Health Education England. So if you are thinking of working and settling in the UK, it is probably best to do the specialty training program like the doctors here do. How does the selection criteria for specialty program work? On what basis is the selection for a particular specialty made? The selection criteria for most specialities is based on your portfolio or CV and your interview performance. Your application will be assessed based on the eligibility criteria and your portfolio. A good portfolio is one that has audits, quality improvement projects, teaching experience, leadership skills, posters, presentations and courses. This needs to be relevant to the specialty you are applying to, to show your commitment to that specialty. You don't need to have it all, but try and have as many as you can. You also need to have good references by three different consultants. If your application is successful, as in if you fit the eligibility criteria and you have a reasonable portfolio, you will be shortlisted and be invited to attend the interview. If you pass the interview, you will be given the specialty training post and a training number. What is the eligibility criteria for specialty training? For most specialities like internal medicine training, core surgical training, general practice, ops and gynae, paediatrics, psychiatry, ophthalmology, all you need is to have completed FY2 and obtain the FACD to show that you have achieved all the competencies and experience equivalent to an FY2 grade doctor. How do I know if the job is banded or has on-call commitments? It will be clearly stated on the job description. If the job has on-call commitments, for example, weekends, nights or long days, it will be said on the job description or work schedule. If I clear MRCP in India, can I directly join SD3 specialty training? To apply for SD3 higher medical specialties, for example, gastroenterology, cardiology, dermatology, respiratory, neurology, you need to complete MRCP and also internal medicine training. If you have not done internal medicine training, you need to be able to demonstrate that you have the experience and competencies equivalent to an IMT trainee doctor. 
So having completed MRCP is not enough to fulfill the eligibility criteria for ST3 training. I will leave a link to the ST3 recruitment website down below so you can check the full eligibility criteria. Is it true that the salary for doctors in UK is not great as compared to US and Australia? Yes, that is true. You can definitely earn more working in a private hospital in US or Australia and probably some Asian countries as well. Most doctors in the UK work for the NHS, which is part of the public healthcare service. It is not privately run, so it is not the best if you are looking to make money. Hi, I am interested in orthopedic surgery. What is the average pay scale as an orthopedic surgeon in the UK? The pay scale will depend on your grade and experience. While you are in training, the salary will be around 48000 per year. Once you have completed training and become a consultant, your salary will be around 80000 per year. What is Caesar? Caesar is the route for doctors who are already a specialist in another country but want to work and settle in the UK. Caesar stands for Certificate of Eligibility for Specialist Registration and it is the route to specialist registration for doctors who have not trained in the UK or completed a GMC approved training program but who are still able to demonstrate that their specialist training qualifications and experience are equivalent to the requirements for the CCT. CCT is what you need to work in the UK as a consultant. That is all for my video today. I hope you guys found this useful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!